My name is Christopher Meehan. I'm the Director for Digital News Design and Presentation for the Emerging News Products team at the Washington Post. What we do. Um, my team basically oversees three uh, aspects of operations at the Washington Post. Our main priority is the national product suite. This involves a tablet app, um, a mobile app, a website, and a newsletter. We also handle the Apple Watch app um, and also third-party applications. So how this all started, about a year and a half ago, this team was formed. We wanted to create a new tablet experience that would reflect and bring sort of the, the attitude and visual uh, boldness of our print product. Um, many, you guys I'm sure are familiar with many tablet applications. Um, the Washington Post is known for its bold visuals, awesome content, and expert uh, curation. And so a lot of different tablet apps are, there's tons of stories on them. Um, it's hard to get involved with. Um, a lot of people get turned off by them. And then you also have other issues like speed and download time. Um, so this is how it all started, was with the Kindle Fire. Um, for those of you don't, who don't know, um, we are owned by Jeff Bezos, the owner of Amazon. Um, so this was sort of a natural um, initial partnership. Um, we came up with this tablet app that would publish two times a day. Um, we call it a curated lean back experience. It has an intuitive UX and bold design. And it features anywhere from 100 to 120 stories per edition. And I'm sorry, we publish at 5 a.m. and 5 p.m. each day. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about each of these points um, with our app. The UX. So our goal when we set out to, to design this thing and put it together was to, to, give, to build something that was so intuitive that you could master it literally in five minutes. Um, and we think that we've accomplished that. Um, when you come first launch our app, you are dropped into what is called Pinch View, um, or two stories at once. And here you can see it in portrait as well as landscape. Um, our goal when creating sort of this lean back experience was not to overwhelm the reader with lots of, with hundreds of headlines, hundreds of visuals. We want you to come in, <clears throat> see two offerings, and you, you page through. When you swipe, you'll get two more offerings, um, and so on and so on. Um, we feel like having the two stories encourages further engagement with our content. Um, our, our alternate view is what we call read view. Um, and that is if you, if you pinch in on a story or click on a story, it'll zoom to full screen. You can look at it in portrait or landscape mode as well. Um, and then from this view, you can either zoom back out to the two story view or you can go side to side. Um, so this UX has, has presented us with a lot of sort of interesting challenges, and we've tried to find ways to take advantage of this sort of two-story setup. Um, and this is one of our favorites, so I wanted to share it with you. We call it the double rainbow. Um, it's a weird name, I know. Um, <laughs> but, but basically, what we found a way to play two related stories off of each other while bridging the two-story gap with a single visual. Now, the, the, the fun thing about it is that the, the art usually should break in a way that uh, makes each story stand alone on its own, but also when you pull back and put them together, it's kind of like this fun uh, centerfold sort of idea. Um, so one of the hallmarks of this product, and one of the things that many people have been talking about, um, are our bold designs, and what we call brights. Um, these brights sit atop um, most of our stories. We produce, on average, anywhere from 35 to 50 of these a, a day. Um, these are all custom design, which is really different for, for sort of what is trending now in digital, where everything is template, templatized, um, and not a lot of creativity goes into the displays. Um, so we really feel like this is um, one of our really strong suits, and it really helps to bring readers into our stories, into our content. It's basically like designing a cover um, for 35 stories. Um, and to that end, we have a team of five designers who work virtually, <clears throat> we staff almost 24 hours a day. Um, and so you're having one to two designers on at a time. Um, and each designer is producing upwards of 
15 to uh, 15 to 20 designs a day, which is pretty amazing. Um, just because there, there's a lot of creativity on this. Um, we try to do a lot of things, with, whether it's put information graphics into the brights, um, play with typography, give them all sort of their own unique feel. Um, and that's really what we found, especially when we, get, when, we read, when we get feedback and reviews, a lot of it is about the bold design. People really enjoy these entry points. Um, and of course, the storytelling. Um, the Post has amazing content, um, has for a long time. It's been our backbone for a long time. Um, but how we produce this for the app is also one of our strong suits. We believe in giving the readers a very asset-rich experience. That means we have um, photo galleries, information graphics, video, um, links to related content, uh, tweets, Instagram, you name it. We embed that content in line. Everything's in line. It's a very simple experience, um, but it's easy to get through. Obviously, it's great to have a relationship with a company like Amazon and Jeff Bezos because we are allowed to do this each day, which is basically we create a new icon every day. Um, and it reflects the news of the day. It, it's not necessarily the biggest news story, but it could be the most interesting or what we think will be the story that people will be talking about. Um, and it, it, within the Kindle, if, you, if any of you guys are Kindle users, um, there's something called the carousel. And in this carousel it are all your most recently used apps. Um, the really cool thing about our presence in that carousel is if you have this app, every morning at 5 a.m., it'll push to the front of your carousel. So the icon will be there the first thing you see. Um, and we see that we obviously see this as a huge, huge advantage to bring readers into our products. Um, just that having that tease is so beneficial in, in the app world. Um, so after, after we created this, the, the tablet app, um, we started thinking about what could we do to give our subscribers more benefit to basically paying for us. Um, we wanted to give them more added value. So we decided we should create a mobile app. Um, obviously the challenges of mobile versus tablet are very different. Um, the tablet readers traditionally, at least for us, is a morning and night reader. Um, mobile apps are 24 hours a day. People are on their phones all day. So all of a sudden we went from basically a curated um, tablet edition that was uh, put out twice a day to a mobile app that had upwards of 200 stories per edition, 200 plus stories um, per, at any given time, rather not edition, there is no edition, it's ongoing. Um, and so this is updated 24 hours a day um, and, and makes use of our, again, our brights um, get fed into this app as well. So we figured out a, a happy medium when designing the brights for tablet and phone that it's a one-shot deal. They'll work across the board. Um, and so what I'm showing you right here is the view you're sort of where you're, what view you're dropped into when you launch. Um, this is called scroll view. And so we wanted to to make sure that these apps the tablet and the phone spoke to each other. Obviously doing the side by side thing was ridiculous and believe me we tried it. Uh, <laughs> but you had two little tiny stories that you could not see either of them. So we sort of flipped it on its side to have this this the second story sort of peaks and it's a card stack idea. So as you scroll up, the story below comes up, and, it, and so on and so on. And it's very intuitive. It's, I, I say it's very similar to like Instagram. Um, you can, it, it's like a smooth scroll, so you can whip through it if you want to. Um, and then if you want to read a story, you, pop, you touch on the story, and it expands downward. Um, and again, revealing all the sort of same assets that we have on tablet. We have graphics, video all of that, and then if you want to jump from section to section, we have the menu at the bottom in the center there, um, which you can jump to sports or lifestyle um, or whatever content you're, you're looking for. And there's also a search function, too, within it. So, MWeb and Web, once we created 
these other two apps, we said, well, wouldn't it be cool if we could create this for web and mWeb? Um, just to give our, our subscribers just another little added bonus. Um, so this is what we came up with. Um, the, on the phone, you have what we call peak, um, which is you see just a tiny little sliver of the next story. Um, you can expand that main story to take up the whole screen if you touch on it. Um, but we, we found that dropping the person into the to MWeb with the, the peak, it encouraged deeper engagement. Um, people were, in, were like, what is that? I'm like, I want to see it. Who knows if it was for good or bad, but they were, they were flicking through. Um, and then our desktop version, which is I think is like I really love, um, is uh, responsive. So if you have a, uh, if you're looking at it on your laptop, you're going to see two stories. Um, it, this is my screen right here. So at work, so you, I get three and a half stories. But if you put on a bigger screen, you could get eight stories, ten stories. If we put on here, there could be a lot of stories. Um, so it's a very interesting sort of um, experience and different. And again, you flick through just like you would um, on any of our other apps. Um, and then lastly, we have um, First Reads, which is our daily visual newsletter. This is delivered to all of our subscribers who opt in for it at 7 a.m. each day. Um, again, bold visuals. You click on these stories. If you have the app um, on your phone or your tablet, it'll launch, it'll launch the story in, in your app. If not, it will take you to a web version of the stories. And again, we found that this is just, it's, it's just different. So it doesn't require a lot of work. It doesn't require a lot of reading for people to, to get in. We feel like these visuals sort of just stop people, make them read the, the headlines. We, take a lot of, we put a lot of energy into the headlines. We make them very conversational. Usually web heads are very SEO oriented. Um, across these products, we've gone away from that. We try to keep them light and, and, and like I said, very conversational. So that's the national product suite. Um, and that's sort of our hallmark um, product that we produce. Um, so the Apple Watch. Our, our theory going into the Apple Watch was big story, small screen. How can we do something different? You can't put, you can't put long stories on the Apple Watch. I don't know how many of you have used the Apple Watch. Um, it's not a lot of fun to read on. Um, it's, 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 it's just you want to have that quick hit and you get through it. Um, so uh, we produce these stories that are basically, we take big stories in our newspaper and we boil them down to bullet points almost. Um, here's an example. The Washington Post did a huge um, investigative story on sexual assault on college campuses. It was a big piece, had big web presence, big newspaper presence, um, and we were like, what can we do for the watch? Well, we boil it down to its most basic elements. Um, we pulled out the stat, the most important stats. Um, so basically, you you click on the story, you click on the screen, and then you can scroll up, or you turn the little knob on the side of the the watch. Um, and it's probably about four or five turns of the watch, and you're done. If you're interested in reading the story, you do a hard press on it, and it will ask you basically if you want to launch it on your phone. Um, and that's called that's what Apple calls the handoff. So you 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 do that, and then a little thing comes up on your phone, and then you open it, and it will launch the full story. Or you can save it to read it later. Um, so we like to do a lot of things with numbers. Another thing we also like to do are lists. So this was kind of a fun story. It was kind of like a tongue-in-cheek story about um, the five steps to a celebrity divorce. Um, the, I think this was on the heels of Ben Affleck's recent divorce. Um, and, and basically the five steps that all these celebrities always go through. Um, so again, it's taking a full story and we have a little fun with it, boil it down to basically a sentence to explain each step. And again, if you want to read more, you can click on it and open it on your phone. Um, another thing I'd like to add is that um, when you first launch the app, you, you drop into this, the screen right there with the main story. Um, we also have headlines that operate on a feed that are underneath that. So if you scroll up, um, 
you will see a feed of headlines that will give you that will update continuously through the day to give you your top news. And that's those headlines can also be opened up on the phone if you want to read the full article. So third party apps. Um, this is probably the most controversial thing I think that's going right now. Um, I don't know how what you guys are experiencing here in Europe, but there's a lot of discussion about um, should we really be getting into bed with these other partners? Um, should we be giving our content away for free, basically? Um, well, the Washington Post has taken the stance that we're all in on this. Um, we feel like experiments only work if we do them at scale, and they're really important. Um, so as far as Facebook instant articles, I believe we've put, there's been a lot of different reports, but I think we have about 80% of our content can be found on Facebook, is in Facebook instant articles right now. Um, and then we're Apple News. We've been working with Apple quite a bit um, on their new thing. Um, this runs off of a feed of our national product suite. So everything goes into our national product suite also shows up here. And our designs also show up here. So it's kind of a very seamless, if you're using our app and then you switch over to this, it has kind of a, a very similar feel. Um, Twitter Moments, um, we're working on these as well. Um, I think with, with varying success, um, that one's a little more tricky, but, but we're in there and we're doing it. And then of course Notify, which just launched I think a few weeks ago. Um, we have several channels on Notify um, and we're working with Facebook and the people at Notify to, to see how we can tailor stuff that works great for them. Um, and then of course, um, coming soon, are Google's accelerated mobile pages, um, which we have already announced a partnership with them. Um, so that is the umbrella of what we cover and what we do. Um, I would like to say that obviously, um, like, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for the team I work with. We're a team of about 25 to 30 people. Um, that includes producers, editors, designers, um, engineers, UX designers. We all work in concert together, and I think that's what really um, makes us stand apart. We were built to act sort of like a startup without obviously the same budget concerns of a startup, but we're off in the corner. Um, we have our own independence and we're encouraged to take chances. Um, we kind of have this mantra of go, 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 um, which, which in, to, interpret, to interpret that it is to, to put these apps out there, put these experiences out there and let the public, take in the feedback from the public. We, I think we have a tendency, as, especially me, as someone with, from a design background wants everything to be pixel perfect. Um, and you could wait a long time to get everything pixel perfect. It's better, we've just decided we're just gonna put it out there, we're gonna take in the feedback, and we'll change, we'll keep, t we'll keep turning the dials until we get it to the right spot. Okay. <laughs>